Hi, my name is Annie Louise and I'm a children's author. Now there's a lot happening in the world at the moment. It's a strange, strange time for us all and many of us are facing some serious challenges that we've never faced before. But I happen to be launching a series of books <laughs> and it's a strange time to launch books because when you launch books there's usually a lot of celebration and a lot of you, you go out to bookshops and you crack open the champagne and there's a lot of meeting and greeting people and talking to kids, but not, not this month. However, I think in a way it's a really important time to launch these books. The series is called Humankind, so it's really about all the things that bind us as humans and make us human. It's a non-fiction type of self-help series, but it's the non-fiction elements are explored through the voices of five fictional children. So there's a cast of five children in the stories who represent different backgrounds. And the kids all share anecdotes from their life. And or they're all centered, each book has a, it focuses on a different virtue or different value. So honesty and persistence are the first two books and later in the year we've got courage coming out. So the kids talk about what honesty means to them or what persistence means to them in relation to their everyday life. So for example, honesty is saying how you really feel. Rosie cries when she loses her shoes. She shouts at freckles. Rosie doesn't like being like this, so she listens to her feelings. Mina, can I tell you something? Rosie asks. I have these, all these yucky feelings inside. I think, I think I'm nervous about performing at the concert. It feels good to share the truth. So the books talk about these virtues in relation to how they bond us together with our fellow humans. And they're not teaching books as such. So they're not instructional books, which tell kids how they, that they have to be honest. What they do is they open up conversations with kids. So they're a gateway for parents and kids or adult teachers and kids to talk about the virtue with the child. And because the virtues are quite subtle and they're quite complex. So honesty means different things in different situations and to different people. So rather than having one concrete statement about what honesty is, it invites kids to actually think for themselves about what honesty means to them. And it's my personal belief that that's much more meaningful and much more relevant to the child and probably a more effective strategy. So when I first sat down to write these books, I didn't really know how to approach it because I didn't want to write a didactic, moralistic teaching book which forced kids to be honest. Rather, I wanted uh, to somehow capture the voices of the, of the children. So I went into a primary school and I chatted to the kids and they really helped me because by them telling me what they thought honesty meant or what it meant to feel dishonest or all of those elements, uh, I was really able to step inside their shoes and also see how much these kids love talking about these themes. And we chatted for over an hour. The teachers had to cut us short at some point because the kids were just so eager to share their experiences. So it's my hope that kids, when you sit down and read these with kids in your homes or with your students, that the kids are just really going to light up and engage in this conversation about honesty and persistence and other virtues in their lives. Honesty is about showing who you really are and telling the truth, even when it might be scary. I think honesty is when you do, you say the right thing and you do something right. Like you say the real thing, like what you actually did or you've done or something. Telling the truth, not lying. Telling the right thing. Why should you be honest? Because in with most cases, it's better off for you if you tell the truth than if you lie. But let's say you did something and then you lied, that it caused that might cause a whole lot more lies. Then you'd be getting into trouble for all these lies and doing the thing. Instead of just getting into trouble for one thing, so it'd get into more trouble. If 
you're honest, you don't get into a storm. The storm of being angry and sad. If you, why you should be honest is because everybody will trust you. And if you do lie, most of the time they will find out. So they'll get mad at you. Can you think of a time when you were honest? Um, when I was in year two, I found a crayon and drew on the floor. And then my teacher was mad at the class. And then after school, I went back and told her. And what made you go back and tell her? Um, I didn't really like feeling like I hadn't told the truth. They think, oh, that wasn't too bad, but it, like, was so they keep on doing it and it makes the storm bigger and bigger. So at the back we've got some uh, anecdotes which are shared from members of the community. Um, so we've got a doctor who's telling us when she once cheated on a maths exam and how that felt. And we've also got some really amazing resources developed by a child adolescent clinical psychologist, Dr. Amika Johnson, who has given us specific questions that we can ask kids in relation to these virtues. And she's also talks about the sort of complexity around them from the adult's point of view. So it will really help you guys understand them. Hi, my name's Amika. I'm a clinical psychologist and I contributed to the Humankind books with some tips for parents. And today I just want to talk a bit about values and how you can talk to your kids about values. So. Values are the things that really matter to us deep in our hearts. They're the things that help to guide our decision making and help us to be the person that we really want to be. So things like courage, compassion, loyalty, persistence and honesty. So it is important to talk to kids about values so that they can make decisions about how they will behave in a way that they feel good about and in a way that helps them to feel confident in who they are. And um, it's really important I think at the moment to talk about values because we're all trying to work out what's really important to us and what we really need to live a meaningful life and also talking about values I think can be really grounding at a time when there is a lot of uncertainty in the world so you know it's just about opening up conversations with your kids about the things that are important to them and the kind of person that they want to be um, you might start with broad questions like what kinds of things make you happy or uh, what kind of friend do you want to be but they might not need something a little bit more specific so can you tell me about a time today when you felt happy and calm and what were you doing and really just listening and giving them space listening for clues and then reflecting back what you hear so if they said that their happiest time today was when they were playing lego with their sister you might say it sounds like you really like sharing and working together um, you can also notice the behaviours that you see. So I noticed that you were sharing really well then, or that was really brave. And just remembering to focus on the behaviours. You might ask them what they like about their friends or the people that they admire. So what they admire in a favourite book character or a movie character. Um, and just giving them lots of concrete examples. So that's why books and stories are really helpful because Kids need to know what these things look like in the real world. So what does it look like when you're persistent? What does it look like when you're honest? So that they can see how to actually apply these values in the real world. So I'm really excited to share these books with you. I hope they make their way into your homes and open up some really interesting and, well, important conversations about what it means to be a human. So thank you so much for being part of this launch. I'd just like to thank my team at Five Mile, Nikki, Tash, everyone who works there for stimulating this series and just being so passionate about making beautiful quality books for children and books and having the courage to make books that can potentially change kids' lives. 
and thank you also to wonderful Missy Turner who has created the most fabulous artwork for this series. Her character work, her style, everything about it I love so much and they've just totally brought these books to life. And also Andy the designer for making these books pop off the shelves. What an amazing job you've all done. Let's be part of the conversation talking about how we can make a better humankind. I hope these books find their way to you. Thank you so much for being part of this launch. Goodbye.